Hi guys and welcome to the vlog about the vlog. Um, today we're going to show you how we get it all together, um, all the equipment we use um, and just our process going through everything and editing and filming and everything like that. So I'm going to show you how we do that now. So let's start with all the stuff. Nice powerful gaming laptop. Drone. Battery pack. Little tripods, smartphone gimbal, smartphone. We don't have a big posh camera or anything, but we quite like using this little little one. It's really good quality, so. It seems like a lot of stuff, but is any of it unnecessary? Not really, I mean, we don't really use a smartphone to film as much, um, but everything I've just showed you, we take out all the time and we use all of it. So, let's go out and take some shots. So today we're going to be tackling doing the walls, we're going to be spray rendering them and by the way it's super hard when you're on your own to just be talking directly into a camera when no one's talking back and no one else is there. It took so long to try and get used to that. Um, so getting over that is actually a really big deal, it's something you see all the time on camera but it's actually really difficult to do. Gonna spray render this down here. So yeah, so stay tuned and see what happens. So another thing we like to do is I like to try get these different camera angles lately, which some of you may have seen on the vlogs. Um, so that involves set, putting a camera somewhere, walking past it or doing what you're doing, um, and then running back and getting it. Um, something like this. And that just gets you a shot, um, which just shows a more natural sort of movement. But obviously if you're in public and you're doing that, it can be quite daunting and can look a bit strange to other people as well. So another way of getting footage, and this is probably my favorite, just cause I like little gadgety toy things, is drone footage. Now, I know what you're all thinking, boring drone footage, all the vloggers do it, we're bored of it, but I think in the right, using it in the right way um, can really add something. You know, it's basically now it's just a little portable camera. So if you look back to like when I cleared out the barn, link here or here to that video, um, it allowed me just to get that aerial view of what I was doing and let you be involved in it um, rather than just kind of the boring stationary um, camera so I've just got a little drone thing here um, so I send that up and let it hover there um, and just film me while I do something bring it back down um, I can see on this little screen which I've obviously got a hide out of view of the camera um, what I'm doing so that's kind of how I do that so I'm just gonna send this up now um, I have crashed this quite a few times and it's still working, so that's good. So that's up there now, filming me. Um, I'm just going to get in position on my little screen here, which I don't think you can see. Um, that's just going to be hovering away in the background because it's quite noisy it's only really good for shots that you know have music playing over them um, so I'm just going to do that and keep working away here and that's going to be recording easy as that no crashes yet So another way that we get footage is by doing like slow motion close-ups and um, stuff like that and we're trying to make it so that the boring stuff we add a little bit to it so all these little shots I'll be thinking in my head right we can play that to music and stuff like that and crop them down so actually we may spend 
20 minutes taking all these little shots and it might only end up to about 10 12 seconds of footage but i think it does add something so shots like i'm about to use my new compressor so i want to show you my compressor but i want to do it like in a cool way so i'll be doing shots like Which hopefully for the viewer makes it a bit more interesting and it gives you a chance to add music and stuff like that as well. So the next thing is to get all our footage off of drones and phones and cameras, um, get all on the laptop and start editing. And really that's when the real work is because I guess filming, filming is quite hard. Um, it's hard to think of the ideas and a lot of vloggers um, that we know and that we spoke to really struggle to keep that creative momentum going and think of ideas for films. I guess if you're rich and you live a naturally amazing lifestyle, then you can just film what you're doing every day. But for someone like me, normal sort of, <laughs> we have to really think and you can't just film really the day-to-day -day stuff because some of it is boring. You might go to a supermarket twice a week and maybe you can film that once, but no one wants to see that every week so it takes a while to think about it so in the edit um, that's when we just bring it all together and I'm not going to walk through how to use the software and everything like that I'll just show you a little glimpse of how we put it together um, and kind of what's involved with that so when all the files are on the laptop I'm then going to open the editing software um, and just start to work through all the files. Um, obviously I've got in my head a rough sort of timeline. Um, work through them, get them together. As well, music I've got to think about. So I've got a little bank of music, which I've kind of worked my way through, music that I like, but each vlog needs different music. So first things first, I'm gonna find some music tracks that I like, which I've already picked through. Um, they want a really strong beat so I can change um, the video to the music. Um, I'm going to get that in and then I'm going to start bringing in the clips, ordering them, editing them, cutting them. Um, so we've probably got about half an hour worth of footage here. And then by the time I clip that all together, it's maybe going to be about six to eight minutes. That's kind of what we're aiming for. So a lot of footage, but when you try cut down to all the bits, the interesting bits, it doesn't add up to a lot. I'm trying to find for the compressor clips, a really rocky type clip. No. 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 Like that. So once I've got that music track in, um, I'm going to search for all the little clips which I took of the compressor, um, like really close up and detailed ones. So, so the first thing I've got to do music wise is I've got to zoom right into the clip and I've got to listen to it and every time there's a heavy beat, which is here, I don't know if you can see that. There we go, which is here. So I've got to mark that because that's a heavy beat and that's where the clip will change to another clip. So it's kind of like when you're watching it, maybe you don't realize, or maybe you will now, I've shown you. But um, so when that beat hits, to do, so when that beat hits, that is when it changes to another clip and that makes it more engaging you to watch really. Just to show you that little sequence, um, so it maybe took me about seven minutes worth of footage just filming little different bits of the compressor and that seven minutes once I broke it down and added it to the music um, has equaled 13 seconds worth of footage. Um, you may think oh is it worth it but I think 
you know, when you put it all together, I think it is worth it in the end. Maybe people don't realise how much has gone into that 13 seconds. So here's kind of what we've got, which I showed you early in the video. I'll just show you kind of what it looks like on screen. Um, so sort of when you start bringing it into the music. So we've got our music here, which I've zoomed in. And every time the, there's a little peak or a beat, I've cut it. Um, so that when you see the whole thing it's then kind of more interesting um, yeah so I'd say editing wise how long does it take maybe for kind of these new vlogs I've been doing for six to eight minutes maybe it's about three hours to edit to get all together so it's about a day to shoot depending on what the task is and then it's about three hours to edit and put that together um out here in france in rural france the internet is terrible so it takes maybe two hours to upload it once it's finished to so upload it then to youtube and that's with running upstairs into the attic putting my phone as high as I can <laughs> to get the best 4G signal. So I hope that's given you an insight today into kind of how we get them together, what's involved in it. Maybe it's more than you thought, maybe it's less. Um, and that's kind of it really. So I just wanted to show you how we get them together and hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see the finished vlog, uh, which is me starting all the spray rendering of the house, That'll be in the next couple of vlogs. I'm not sure if it'll be in this very next one. Um, that'll be in the next couple of vlogs. Um, so stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye.